Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Hervey from LifeIsTheTrucker.com. A lot of people are still asking me, should I become a truck driver? And that's a real general question. I don't know if you should become a truck driver. And in order for me to give you the information you need, you have to ask a more specific question. Like, how much do truckers make? Or how long are truckers out? Or is it as bad as I hear? And then I would say, well, what part do you want to know about? And then you're going to say, are oh, all the dispatchers evil? <laughs> and I would say, no, there's a lot of trucking companies. And so the thing is, you're going to run into different types of people. You got to look at something more significant than that. Like, are you compatible with the trucking lifestyle? Are you suitable? In order to be suitable, you have to be self-reliant. You have to be resourceful, which same thing. And what I mean by that is you might get information to go and pick up a load or go deliver a load and you get near the place, you try to call the people, the number doesn't work. Maybe the company doesn't deal with them that often and they have old information on file so they didn't just look it up and they pass you that old information and it is now obsolete. Well, some drivers pull over and try to get the company, their company, to get the correct information. It's not against the law to do that, you know, but that's a lot of time being wasted, especially if it's a small company. It depends on what kind of company it is. A small company and you got to call several times to get through because one dispatcher is handling a lot of drivers or whatever. Well, it's a lot quicker if you just use your head, pick up your smartphone when you, after you park, pick up your smartphone and Google the company name and get the new information, get the number, call the people, say, Listen, I need your directions. I'm trying to get to you. You know, so it's those types of things that will make your job easier and less stressful and will make you someone who is favored. What I mean by that is imagine you being self reliant and, okay, give me the information, give me the time I got to be there. I got the rest and they can depend on you to make that happen compared to somebody who's calling to the office 10 times because you told me that the company name was um, was hurry up and get here ASAP and it's hurry up and get here quick you see what I mean that's ridiculous don't you? who wants that and you know, getting mad at the people because the number is old. Stuff like that is going to happen every now and then. I had, at a company that I was at, we got information that was irrelevant all the time because it was a lot of people that they had dealt with before, but they don't deal with them on a regular basis. So, I mean, companies from, you know, from years ago, well, it's a combination of two things. One is that they only deal, they deal with the company infrequently also because someone in the office wasn't inputting the information to keep the files updated and that was obvious because you know after it happened a few times I would ask when was the last time we delivered to you and they would say a few weeks ago last month I'm like how often do we deliver to you at least once or twice a month I'm like okay and that's telling me that something ridiculous is going on somebody's not updating the files and so you know the benefit of the doubt, you say, well, maybe the drivers are not calling back to let people know that this information is inaccurate. So I had the opportunity to be the one who had the wrong information and called back and had to go back to that place again. And sure enough, the same old outdated information was there, which means somebody, in fact, was not correcting the information in the system. So, hey, what up? That, is, that can be a little frustrating. You think about somebody just sitting there and it's so simple for them to fix that and now every driver got to go through this because that's what I used to try to do all the time. You know, in order, because I try to convince them to make sure that they was going to make the change and not just dismiss it because I know the habit of people sometimes. And yes, yes, I love that. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm serious. I mean, I got the right information. I don't need that. That's not what I'm calling for. I'm calling to tell you that it's wrong and in hopes that you will change it so that drivers won't have to keep going through this. Oh yes, I change it and it doesn't get changed. So that's ridiculous. But you're going to deal with that. Now, 
Are you going to move on and make it happen? Or are you going to blow up and get irate and let it be a problem that stresses you out? Don't need to stress you out. Just not that serious. It is for them. Because guess what? If you got people there who care so little about doing such a simple task. Now granted, we don't know how much other stuff they got to do still. What up? If you got somebody there that's operating like that, then you don't know what other things uh, in the office are not getting done. And the company could fold because of the things that, is, that are not getting done. So it could be significant in that way. But I'm talking about as far as how it deals with you and in your life. You're going to run into small things that you can allow to be a, a big problem to you. Or you can learn how to not let it affect you so much. But back to, I'm, I'm going a long way down that path right there. The point was you need to be self-reliant. If you're self-reliant, you're going to be someone who is able to have a decent trucking career if the other things are also in place, meaning you are compatible for the trucking lifestyle. If you need to be home at planned times all the time, if you need to be home at regular intervals every other weekend, every third weekend, and that's a must, it's not going to work out for you unless you have one of the companies, one of the few companies who will guarantee that you'll be there every weekend and actually fulfills that obligation. And even then, I mean, it's just, uh, unless it's a dedicated route and it's the same thing, it's, it's just not the nature of trucking. A lot of trucking companies are getting smarter and are trying to make sure you get home two to three weeks after two to three weeks out. Not all of them are on board yet. I think they'll get to that place. We'll see. You need to be flexible. So you need to look at the big picture of what, what your requirements are and then look at the reality of being a truck driver and you'll know whether you should become a driver or not overall but you have to ask those specific questions so, so people will know to what are you referring why are you um, what is it that you're contemplating what, 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 what reasons are you thinking that you shouldn't become a truck driver and ask me about that and then I can help you out better as far as hearing all the negativity from older drivers that's been in the uh, trucking industry for a while, you got to keep in mind that they are going through this uh, change, a lot of changes. And of course, no one likes changes. And so they have, but they have something to compare it to. They have a past to compare it to. You won't have that past history to compare it to. So you'll be, co you'll be taught and form habits around what is uh, relevant today. So you won't have that same type of feeling that they have and a lot of them feel like it's going you know downhill. I think the reality is that as time goes on then the situation for drivers will be better because they're going to be forced to drive the pay drivers better and hopefully they will be forced to make better arrangements with shippers and receivers and so that they won't hold the truck up and waste time and if time is wasted sitting there at the dock then the trucking company is going to get compensated for it and the trucking company will compensate the driver fairly for it. <laughs> uh, that's a lot to go on right there just to answer the question should you become a truck driver I know you're looking for a yes or no uh, trucking is still a great career. It's not for everyone. Always been the case. As far as judging on whether it should be for you or not, other people can't do that. You have to ask specific questions and let them answer the question. And then you have to determine on whether trucking is a good career for you or not. I got to go. Thank you for watching. Peace. Like they always say, like if you like it, like it. And if you like it, subscribe. <laughs> See you.